Movie theaters were dark for much of 2020 as the coronavirus pandemic spread across the globe. Studios delayed highly anticipated franchise entries like No Time to Die or Fast 9, while others opted for an exclusive streaming release on Netflix or Hulu. But even so, there were still a few big hits in 2020. Here are some of the top performing films in the U.S. according to Box Office Mojo. Number 10, The Call of the Wild. Rounding out the top 10 is this adventure film set in the Yukon starring Harrison Ford alongside a very adorable dog. Number 9, The Invisible Man. The Handmaid's Tales, Elizabeth Moss starred in this tense horror film about an abusive relationship. Released just a few short weeks before coronavirus closures started impacting movie theaters, the film managed to build a sizable gross on just a $7 million budget. Number eight, Little Women. Another holdover from late 2019, this adaptation written and directed by Greta Gerwig received six Oscar nominations, winning one for its costumes. With Dune on hold until October 2021, maybe audiences were eager for a little more Timothy Chalamet. Number seven, Doolittle. In 2019, Robert Downey Jr. starred in the highest grossing film in box office history, a Avengers Endgame. In 2020, RDJ still managed to make it into the top 10 with his take on the iconic doctor who can talk to animals. Despite a Rotten Tomato score of just 14%, audiences still turned out for this family-friendly comedy. Number six, Birds of Prey. 2020's first film from DC was carried by star Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn and an ensemble of tough female antiheroes. While the film slightly underperformed compared to other DC superhero universe movies, it did well at the box office compared to Wonder Woman 1984, which was released in theaters and on HBO Max Christmas Day. Number five, Star Wars Episode Four: The Rise of Skywalker. The final entry in the latest Star Wars trilogy, J.J. Abrams' film managed to make it into the top five of both 2019 and 2020. Fans showed up well into the new year to get one last look at the cast who brought the Skywalker saga to an end. In late 2020, Disney announced a bunch of new Star Wars projects, including films directed by Wonder Woman's Patty Jenkins and Jojo Rabbit creator Taika Waititi. Number four, Jumanji The Next Level. Another 2019 holiday season release, Jumanji The Next Level continued earning well into 2020. The sequel to 2017's Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, the film featured the return of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, Nick Jonas, and Karen Gillan, along with new stars Danny DeVito, Danny Glover, and Aquafina. While the next level didn't quite hit the heights of Welcome to the Jungle, which netted over $400 million at the domestic box office, it did mark The Rock's 17th film to gross over $100 million. Number three, Three, Sonic the Hedgehog. When the original trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog dropped, fans of the character were shocked and a little disturbed by the film's version of the iconic character. The film's director, Jeff Fowler, tweeted, Thank you for the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Well, turns out that digital makeover was completely worth it because Sonic the Hedgehog wound up as the third highest grossing movie of 2020. Number two, 1917. That's right, the second highest grossing film of 2020 was actually from 2019. Released in the U.S. on Christmas Day, the British World War I epic made most of its money in the new year. The film was nominated for 10 Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Director. It won three, including one for cinematographer Roger Deakins, who helped craft the film's one-shot style. 
Number one, Bad Boys for Life. Bad Boys Will Smith and Martin Lawrence recreated the magic of their 1995 action comedy classic with a new nostalgic twist. Bad Boys for Life was the only movie released in 2020 to crack $200 million in the U.S. Internationally, it was the third highest grossing film of the year at just over $426 million. This is a new territory for Will Smith. Out of 29 movies where he's had a starring role, 15 have made over $100 million at the domestic box office, cementing his reputation as one of the most bankable stars in Hollywood. From this list, it's clear 2020 was unlike any year in recent history at the box office. Christopher Nolan's Tenet, released in the U.S. in September, didn't even crack the top 10. Here's hoping for a return to more movies and safer theaters in 2021 and beyond. What was your favorite film of 2020? Let us know in your comments on Facebook and Twitter.